I survive because I play it safe and follow the rules. My rules. Hey guys, what's happening? Niash here with Film Comics Explained, and with the recent release of the trailer for Zombieland 2, Double Tap, today we'll be exploring the MZD virus featured in the 2009 post-apocalyptic horror comedy Zombieland. Directed by Ruben Fleischer in his directorial debut and written by Rhett Reese and Paul Wernick, the film features a group of survivors who use their rules, wits and each other to survive a zombie apocalypse that had wiped out most of the United States, while also trying to find a way to enjoy the little things in life. Oh, balls! Where's the fucking Twinkies? I like snow balls. I hate coconut, not the taste, the consistency. Unlike many of the zombies seen in popular culture that suddenly rose from the dead and who slowly limped towards their targets, as is the case with the undead in George A. Romero's films, the infected in Zombieland were very fast. It's also worth noting that they were not actually undead, but merely individuals infected with a disease. In the film, the protagonist and narrator, Columbus, explained that zombies had started out as normal people until a man referred to as Patient Zero had eaten a contaminated burger at a restaurant and gas station called Gas and Gulp. The meat in the burger had essentially been made out of beef from cattle that were infected with a mutated form of mad cow disease. Once ingested, the mad cow burger poisoned the man and mutated the virus into a mad zombie disease, which gave the victim a raging fever, black blood, a swollen brain, and a nasty disposition towards craving the flesh and brains of non-infected people. After his mutation, Patient Zero then began biting nearby diners, leading to a geometric infection progression across the town, and eventually across the entire country. Within two months, the MZD virus spread across America and infected almost everyone through bites, scratches, and the transmission of infected fluids, leaving only a few people that had not contracted the disease to fend for their lives. These zombies tended to have bodies that were still intact and did not possess rotting flesh or signs of skin and tissue decay, as is typical in other portrayals of zombies. To better understand how MZD functioned, we need to take a closer look at mad cow disease itself. Now, mad cow disease is caused by misfolded proteins that can trigger normal proteins in the brain to fold abnormally. These characterize several fatal and transmissible neurodegenerative diseases in humans and animals through the ingestion of infected meat products. The most common forms of prion diseases that affect humans are creutzfeldt jakob disease, fatal familial insomnia, and Kuru, a topic I've extensively covered in my video on the HK virus, which I'll be leaving a link to below. While in animals, we of course get mad cow disease and chronic wasting disease, among a few others. Those that are affected with a prion disease slowly lose their motor control and balance, followed soon by changes in higher brain functions like memory, decision making, personality, and behavior. This is the very reason that creators of Zombieland base their epidemic on mad cow disease, but it should be noted that while in the film the effects of the infection take a few hours, in reality, prion diseases take years and even decades before revealing their symptoms. Although many people turned after a few hours, the incubation period for MZD varied depending on the way it had been contracted. Bites from the infected would cause people to turn rapidly, giving them a few hours before it took hold, while infections caused by ingestion of contaminated meats took a bit longer. Once infected, the brain continued to function on a basic level, instructing the infected host to hunt and transmit the prion disease to other people. And as of yet, no waterborne or airborne strains of the virus have been identified, though none of that was necessary for MZD to ravage the country. This is now the United States of Zombieland. <laughs> I love Zombieland. The film is essentially an awesome road movie about a dysfunctional family traveling across the country in the backdrop of an epidemic, with zombies serving as the threat the characters need to come together. Uh. What are you looking for? Nothing, I just uh, I have this list. No one back there with my duffel bag. The main character is an obsessive compulsive man who develops a set of rules designed to help him survive in Zombieland, and while he journeys to find his parents, he stumbles into a zombie killer named Tallahassee, who is searching for Twinkies before their expiration date. The pair soon encounter Wichita and Little Rock, sisters who survive on their con artist skills, and though their personalities often clashed, through their journey on the road together, the group form a tight bond and begin to realize that they were now a family. 
Now, the sequel looks as though it'll be exploring the continued adventures of the group, featuring a fracturing of the family, and it also appears to show some of the other survivors in America. And while we don't yet know whether the rest of the world was infected, I think it's safe to assume that it was, based on how quickly the disease spread and managed to take over the US. It's also worth noting that in the previous film, we do see other survivors, including Bill Murray, in one of the most excellent cameos in film history. We also see a zombie kill of the week from his sister Cynthia Knickerbocker, alluding to the possibility that more people were still alive. Well, that's all for today, folks. A big thanks to all of you guys who requested we take a look at the MZD virus featured in Zombieland. Don't forget to hit subscribe and click the notification icon to stay up to date on all my content. And if there's anything else you'd like to request, please don't hesitate to ask. As always, it's been a pleasure. Niat here with Film and Comics Explained. Thanks for stopping by. You got a purdy mouth. Here you go. Swing. Swing. You're incredible. I know. Yeah. Twinkie, twinkie, twinkie.